All right, hi everybody. Game Cooker US Rocks VR here again. Um, playing Starfield. Um, this time I am using a 9900K at 5 gigahertz with a GTX 1070, 8 gigabyte, 32 gigabytes of DDR4, 3200 RAM, and just so you guys know, you have to update the NVIDIA drivers to use your 1070 and maybe some other 10 series cards. Because when I went to go play the game initially, it said my card does not meet the minimum requirements. So I updated to the latest drivers, which I thought I was already on, but whatever. Um, so, yeah, you have to do that. Otherwise, your old GPUs may not work. So, right now, I'm starting off at um, 1440p, which is the native right now on the desktop. 65% render resolution scale with dynamic resolution on. Everything's on low except for the crowd and upscaling of course is on uh, sharpening I guess we'll turn that up to like 40 and we're getting and I am recording so you can add like a couple frames per second on to the the average there so if I wasn't recording, I would be getting like a solid 30 right now. I never went up the sidewalk before. But just know that uh, the game is going to look crappy. Right? The game does not look good. <laughs> I mean, look at that pixelation party going on over there. And the pixelation party going on over there. You know, this is just like, yuck. Boy, the ambient sounds in this game are just way too high, man. I don't know if that's effects or what. Let's see. Yeah. I've never been up here. Oh my god, this is really pixelated. Wow. Look at that. Pixelation madness. Of course, that's, you know, at 1440p. Yeah, a little 1070s. Going strong still, you know. With that big 256-bit uh, bus. And 8 gigabytes of RAM. So we're getting a solid 28 to 30. Of course, dynamic resolution. Dynamic resolution is keeping it there. But there's a lot of like, not really good situations going on here. It just doesn't look really good. <laughs> This game, man, it just sucks. Look at her. She's she's raking the pine trees, or whatever these things are. I mean, that's pretty. Knowing me, it probably wouldn't work. My skin hates me. I don't know, man. It seems like to me they just threw stuff in this game, just as filler. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really, like, fit in or make any sense. Like, why is she raking that? That stuff is not rakeable. <laughs> Whew. Crazy, ain't it? Pretty nuts. So if I turn off dynamic resolution, let's see if it goes crazy. So we turn off dynamic, it's like 25 to 26. 
right? But it does look better. A little bit better. Still got a lot of anti-alias, uh, a lot of aliasing going on. But if you turn off dynamic resolution, it definitely looks better. Because it's not going to drop the uh, resolution any more than you told it to. But there's still a lot of pixels going on here, man. Like, I cannot see the face of those two people or him. Like, I can't see the face at all. And especially those. So while technically you could play in 1440p with FSR, I mean, we can turn it down to 50%, but that's going to be like vomit level. I mean, it's already vomit level. But yeah, it's still, it's, FSR is not going to save the day here. It's just going to make it worse. Right, so... So what I'm going to do is, uh, you know, you can play it at 1440p. It's just going to look terrible. So this is this is the settings here. Like, six, I would say 65 with dynamic resolution on. These settings right here at 1440. I mean, you can tweak them up and down. I mean, I... I tried doing 75 with the dynamic on, but that's, it, it's not going to work. It's starting out too low, you know, so 60, 65 is about the best, um, the lowest, I mean, the highest I would go as far as this goes, right? But really, you'll have to go to 50 to really get, you know, a solid. Three mils is the way to go. Stock up on their discount stuff. And but even then, it's not. I think because you're getting into CPU bounding territory, you still can go to like 65 instead of 50. So. But it just looks terrible. It looks very bad. Looks very bad. You know, you might be able to go up to like medium. Let's try medium real quick before I switch. So we'll go to medium. All right. Sorry. Um, it's a 50% dynamic resolution scale on. We're going to turn down um, GTAO. Grass quality on low. We can do indirect lighting low. So let's, oop, oh, wrong one. Yeah, it's just, it's a dynamic resolution. Like, it's just, yeah, forget about dynamic, man. See, this looks a lot better. But you're not going to get 30 frames per second. Every month to the house of you see? So you have to turn down like shadow quality, reflections, volumetric lighting. You know? Let's see what we get there. Yeah, you're probably right. So we're getting about 26. 27 Still not enough I'm trying so meet uh, low for shadows particle low Let's 
So, yeah. Well, it might be okay now. But now we're back to low again, right? <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah, it's just... It just doesn't work. I mean, the only way to do it is turn on dynamic resolution and put it up to 65. And... Maybe you'll get 30 every so often. So anyway, yeah, 1440 just isn't going to work. All right, so let's turn it on 1080p. Um, again, I don't know what to do here. We're just going to have to put it on low. Let's put it on medium. Motion blur off. Put it on 65% resolution scale. Dynamic resolution off. All right, now it's going to go to windowed mode. So we're at 24 frames per second. So I'm going to change the desktop resolution to 1080p. Whoops, was that the wrong one? Oh, crap. I don't know why it does that. <laughs> Alright, so now we're at 1080p, 60. So now we can put it in full screen mode. So even 1080p... Medium, it's not going to work. I mean, isn't that dumb? So stupid. Like, I don't understand, man. So let's put it on low. No motion blur. No dynamic. Put it on 65. Ugh. still drops below 30 but it's at least it's it's above 30 most of the time I think when you get near the water yeah that's when it drops so if you want a 30 frames per second with your 1070 um, that's probably the best you're gonna do I'm gonna go to some other areas though just to, just to make sure because this looks like the best 1080 scenario here. I am going to try lower resolutions. So, so you know, I don't know if you can go up to 75. Let's see. Um, yeah, it's, it stays above 30 sometimes. Looking at the water, it goes down. Looking over here, we're 30. Looking over here, we're 30. Looking over here, we're 30. Criminal activity in this area. But the water, it goes down. And, you know, the image does not, the, the game doesn't look good. Like, it's very crappy looking with the FSR. And we're not even using dynamic resolution scale, which is like, ugh. Crazy, huh? So, you know, it looks like this is going to be your lowest case scenario here. So we're going to travel to, um, I'm going to go to my ship. So let's go to the ship. <sighs> the 
when you're ready to launch. So in the cockpit, we're only at 25 frames per second. And inside here, we are getting... <laughs> but these guys are like so blurry. Can't even like make out his face. But we're getting 30 frames per second inside here. All right, so we're gonna go... We're gonna go to... Um, the planet here. Oh, no. No. So we're going to travel somewhere on the planet. Let's see. Which one? This is the snowy area. So we'll go here. To the forest area. And see, you know, how we can play with this stuff. Why is this thing doing that? There we go. Alright, so out here in the forest... We're getting like... 29 in the grass. But I mean, we're hovering about 30 ish. <laughs> I mean, we can turn the resolution scale down more to 65. So now we're now we're above the 30s pretty consistently in the grass. Let's go back over here. Yeah, it looks like we're staying above 30 now, although everything looks pretty bad. Everything's really like pixelated and aliasing like crazy. It does not look good. I don't know why people keep saying it looks good. It doesn't look good. Stop saying it looks good. This is not good. It's okay if you want to say that you, 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 you can play it this way. <laughs> right? Or that you like the like you don't mind crappy looking graphics. That's that's fine. But please stop saying the game looks good. At 1080p with these settings, it doesn't. All right, so I would say that this is a good 1080p. God, I hate the freaking oxygen bit. Why can't we breathe out here anyway? Like, I, I have a helmet on. I don't even need a helmet on, do I? Wow, that's pretty bad, ain't it? These characters are just like... <laughs> not good. So I'm still losing oxygen. Even though I am on a breathable planet. See, that's pretty stupid. So yeah, I would say this is the best 1080p <laughs> settings, unfortunately.
the same as 1440p, so I don't know what the deal is with that. It doesn't make any sense to me. Same exact settings. So you might as well just play it 1440p, right? I don't know. I don't get it, man. Um, all right, so we're going to go down even further. We're going to go to... I'm going to go 720p Ultra. Like real Ultra, not FSR Ultra. And I don't know why they don't have dynamic resolution enabled. Like, why can't you use that? Like, why do you have to have FSR to use that, right? What do you guys think? So we're going to go 720 Ultra, right? So that should, like, play very well, right? Should be, should be high FPS, right? <laughs> hmm. But it's worse. I mean, this is insane. Don't you think? I mean, how can it be worse? Let's go down to 720. Right? Oh, I forgot about the motion blur. I mean, this is what's so... This is, this is, I think, what most people have a problem with, right? With these new games. Is that before... Right before... Uh, why is it doing that? The screen should be... Oh, yeah, because it keeps changing. Because I, I put it on... I stretched it out. All right. Right, this is what a lot of people complain about. Like in the in the in the past what you had was like if you if you like played at 4K ultra, right? And let's just say you were getting like, I don't know, 40 frames per second. Right? You would say, well, okay, maybe maybe I can go down to 1440 Ultra and get an extra 20 frames per, section, per second and get up to 60, right? So that's what you would do, right? You would go from 4K Ultra to 1440p Ultra, and then you would it would go from 40 to 60, right? And then if you went from... 1440p ultra let's just say 60 you're like well i would like to get more than 60 maybe i want to get 80 right well then you would go from 1440p ultra to 1080p ultra and then you would get that extra 20 frames so you're playing now at 1080p 80 frames per second like that's how the game scaled right and each time you went down to a lower resolution on higher ultra the game still looked beautiful like you didn't lose really lose any fidelity so i don't understand what's happening here like what is this new game development that they're doing where like textures themselves scale down with resolution Right, like, why can't you have, like, a, 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 a 4K image still look good on a 1080p image? Like, why can't you scale that down to 1080p and it still look good? Right? Like, when I do my photos, I mean, sometimes I have to scale down, like, an image from 4K because it's a little too big for YouTube. And I scale it down to, say, 1080p. 
You know, there's 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 a there's some quality loss, but not like this. I mean, look at this. Now you can't see in the video how bad it looks. And and but but the, but that's not even the thing that's like annoying. The things the thing that's the most annoying is look at the frames per second. We're at 720p ultra and it's only getting 18 frames per second and look at the frame times. Like how can they be worse at a lower resolution? I don't get that. Like, well, I'm not an engineer, I'm not a game developer, but I mean, something just does not seem right about what they're doing developing these games. Like, they have to stop developing PC games on console. Like, they have to they have to develop these games on PC separate from console, because that's the only thing that I can see here that's causing this. Right? Like, that that's the only thing... That seems to be different. Is that whatever th whatever stuff that you have to do to get it to run good on consoles does not translate to PC. It doesn't. And look at the RAM usage. It's still using 8 gigabytes. Well, it's allotting 8 gigabytes of RAM. But it's but it looks to me it looks like it's using. Well, no, I'm sorry. It's it's uh. It's allotting six gigs on the GPU, and it looks like it's using 4.5. So on the RAM. It looks like it's it's reserving 14 gigs, and it's using over eight gigs. I mean that's just insane. Why do you need eight gigs of RAM at 720p? And why are the frame times at 60, like 60 to 70 milliseconds? And why is it running at 18 frames per second at 720p? I mean, that's just, I have a 9900K. So it's not the CPU that's the problem. I mean, the CPU is running at 5 gigahertz. And it, it, it look at the temperature. Like it rarely goes over 60. So that the CPU isn't even working hard. <laughs> it's just crazy, man. This is insane. It's just cr Oh, my God. I don't understand it. That's why you need DLSS. DLSS would fix all these problems. Well, you know, not totally. Obviously, the, the game itself is the problem. But DLSS would at least mitigate the game looking so crappy. You know, because it will be using the AI upscaling, you know, algorithms. FSR is just too dumb. It doesn't know. It just knows to whatever it does with the pixels and that's it. Like it doesn't it doesn't know how to make it look nice. Right. So, I mean, this is just totally insane. I mean, I'll try to put it up to, like, say, I don't know. Let's try 1050 so it's not a CPU bound, okay? Let's see, that's not even any better. You know what I'm saying? It's not any better. Sorry, that's the uh, that's the um, afterburner. <laughs> I don't know why it does that little flashy thing. All right, so even if we're at 1050 P,
which I think is 16.9 resolution. Maybe it isn't 16.9 resolution. Let's try some. Let's try a different one. Let's see here. 16.8. Oh yeah, 10.50 may not be. Okay, 900p maybe. That's what we should be doing. Uh, let's go to 900p. I tried this on other. Um, uh, the 2070 and it didn't really help See, we're still at 16 frames per second. Even though it's a lower, much, much lower resolution. And the GPU now is at 99%. So, I don't think it's CPU bound. Now, the game does look better, but, I mean, are you going to play this at 16 frames per second? I mean... I don't know, it just seems pretty stupid to me. So let's try to turn it down to, let's turn down some of these shadows here and grass. All right, so let's try 900p high settings. So now we're up to 20. We went from 16 to 20. Oh my God. This is just not acceptable. I can't believe people are giving this game a 10 out of 10. It doesn't deserve it at all. I don't care what anybody says. I'm going to turn this ambient occlusion down because it seems like that, that takes a pretty good hit. So we're going to go to medium with ambient occlusion on low and everything else on medium. So we still cannot get to 30. See, so it's got nothing to do with the video card. It, 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 this is not the video card's problem. How can it be? This happens on the 1070, the 2070, the 2080 Ti. I mean, how can this be the, the, the GPU's problem? I, I, explain that to me. <laughs> Somebody really, really explained to me how this is an excuse. When we had so many games in the past that ran at high FPS and looked beautiful. Right? I mean, look at Call of Duty, right? And all those first-person shooter games, the competitive ones. Not, not like Fortnite or PUBG, because that's really nothing on the map. But, you know, Battlefield and, and uh, Call of Duty... You know, they have a pretty good amount of stuff on, on the, the maps, you know. So, you know, they're, they're, uh, they're probably much more demanding, right? Is it going to run like this at 900p with medium settings? Like, it really, a 1070, is it really only going to run Call of Duty at 22 frames per second? I just have a hard time believing that. So this is just, this is insane. It really is. Let's go, let's go to 366 by 768. Still, 26 frames per second. Let's go to seven. Let's go to 720p. Well, we're almost at 28.
That's at medium. <laughs> medium. So let's turn everything to low. So now on low settings, we're getting the same FPS as we got basically at the higher resolutions, right? So this is just crazy. It's, so it's not the GPU, it isn't. It can't be. You can't, it, you, I mean, every single resolution on low settings from 1440 all the way down to 720, in order to get 30 frames per second, you have to go low on everything. Again, I, I'm, I'm not an engineer. Maybe I'm dumb. Explain to me. how this, you know, help me to understand so that I can figure out my brain how this is logical. Because it just does not seem, it something's not right. Like something is seriously wrong. They need to stop developing these games. They need to start developing these games with a separate team just for PC. Because it seems like if you're trying to develop it for console and then you bring it out to PC, it just runs like garbage. It looks gar like garbage. And then, of course, AMD want it, wants to interject their their freaking FSR and everything, which just looks like garbage. You know, to prematurely to deceive people into thinking they have great performance. When they don't. All right, I'm going to try to go to 4K. So I'm going to put the desktop to 4K again, which is the native. And we're at 60 hertz. All right. So now this is extremely small. <laughs> All right, so this is 720. That's how big it would be. All right, so I'm going to go all the way up to 4K. All right, so we are getting 12 frames per second, which again makes sense. Everything looks much better at 4K. But see, this is the problem. Like, it's supposed to look this good at every resolution. Right? Like, in other words, at the, re at the, at the amount, like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, 4K, when you scale it down to 1440, you should have textures that fit that 1440... Uh, pixel frame size right so in other words you create textures that look good on 4k and then you create textures that look good on 1440 and then you create textures that look good at 1080p this is what I think old games used to do I can't say for sure but that's what it seems like they did here what you do what they're doing is they're starting out with like just one group of textures which are like at 4K, and then every time you scale down, the the quality just goes down, 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 down. Like I I, I don't know if you, you know you guys understand what I'm saying there, but you know. So right now we're at uh, low. All right. So what we're gonna do is make full screen first. All right. So we're at 10 frames per second. Poor 7, 1070 is struggling. 
All right, so we're going to put on FSR. Yuck. But it will at least look better starting at 4K. I'm going to put it at 75% resolution scale. Well, I'm going to put it at 50%. Let's just be real. We'll start at 50 and work our way up if we if we can. So I'm at 4K low at 50% resolution. All right, so twenty five frames per second is the best we're going to get. And everything is a pixelated mess. Yeah, so it can't it it can't handle um it can't handle um 4K at all. All right, so let's go down to 1440p again. I think that's what we'll do. I think this is going to be the best solution here. Um, yeah, I mean, if I was to play it, <laughs> I mean, oh, oh no, there we go. Yeah, so I mean if I was to if I was to play it with this vi with this video card <clears throat> I would not go down to 1080p. That's for sure. I would suffer playing it. I would just suffer having a console experience at 1440. So, this is my final verdict. You know, maybe in the city, around water, you might drop to, to like 28, but who cares? You're not going to be in the city for long. And I'm not saying this looks good. It doesn't look good. It doesn't, it doesn't look good at all. The game looks terrible. You know? Look at this. Yes. Look at this. The textures. I, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> Stuff is floating. Maybe I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. Let me save it here. And then let me load it in. All right. Let me load back in here. Let's just see if that improves. Stuff might not be floating around then. Well, nope. Stuff is still floating around. Wow. That didn't help. Oh my god. All right. Well, I'm I'm not going to drag on this video. I think I think this is definitely if I was stuck with a 1070 and I really wanted to play this game so badly that I just could not Let's do this. That I just, you know, couldn't miss out on Starfield. I call it Starshite, but whatever. Then I would definitely do 1440, because at least on your smaller monitor, it should look better. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, let me just put up the uh, settings here. All right. 
take a screenshot because this is what we're going to do. Oh, yeah, I should have done this. Let me take another one. So this is how I think we have. Oh, we got dynamic resolution on. Let me check. Um, hmm. All right, so, yeah. seems to be just about the same I mean you do have some dips but I would still probably play it without dynamic resolution but you know if you want to get that little more smoother experience then I guess you would have to put on dynamic resolution you know so yeah I mean this is this looks like it's pretty much it all right people thanks for watching take care Bye.